Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Vani Gosain. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 17, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Place your feet flat on the floor and your hands in your lap. And let's begin. Take a deep breath into your nose and let it out slowly and gently out through your mouth. Such a great way to start off the day. And now for our word of the day. Hey Sonia, were you confused by the lesson today? Oh, yeah, a little bit, but I think I understand it now. Okay, because I noticed that you were very inquisitive. Yeah, I was pretty curious and had a lot of questions to ask. Okay, can you maybe help me study later? Yeah, of course, and don't worry about being inquisitive. I don't mind the questions. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the, the day. day. Learning new words is always helpful. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Vani. Sports fans, Golden State Warrior Steph Curry is succeeding in life on and off the basketball court. The basketball powerhouse will be one of many students graduating college this week. He left college over 10 years ago to pursue his professional career and became a star almost immediately. Curry spent the last 13 years earning championships and breaking records, including one just last week for becoming the first player in history to make 500 career three-point shots. He always knew that education was important though, and went back to finish what he started last year, his Bachelor of Arts degree. Congratulations, Steph, for setting a great example of pursuing goals. Now let's go to Valencia to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure is yummy. It is pizza dippers, marinara, sip juice, pear cup, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Valencia. I can't wait for lunch. That sure sounds scrumptious. Scholars, tomorrow our amazing Algebra 1 students will be taking their second section of their math EOC. Make sure to get some rest and do your best for the test. I wish you luck, and I hope I pass. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, the first ever Pine student versus staff. Tickets are on sale now. Visit myschoolbucks.com to purchase yours before they sell out. You will not want to miss this epic showdown. The book fair is coming up on May 24th. I can't wait to see what books they have in store. coming up. I can't wait to ride all of the awesome rides. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Destiny. I hope it's not cloudy. Thank you, Vani. Good morning, Patriots. Today, expect a nice and warm 89 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny skies. Maybe consider spending some time outside today. In other weather news, welcome to Mudslide 101. Here's everything you need to know about mudslides. Mudslides can happen at any time, anywhere, and sometimes without warning. They often happen in mountainous areas soon after a downpour. 
They also have a dangerous relationship to wildfires, which are more numerous in the summer. When downpours hit an area recently burned by wildfire, it can lead to debris flow. People who live at the bottom of steep are most at risk of mudslides. To be safe, make sure to turn on your emergency alerts to stay informed. Now let's go to Randy to see whose birthday it is. Hey Patriots! Today there's no birthday boys or girls, so have a great day! Thank you, Randy! Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school to buy respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for Friday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss June, Miss Gonzalez, Miss Only, Miss Ian Denqua, Miss Stone, and Miss Newton. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question. And now for yesterday's trivia winners, Miss Gonzalez, Miss Only, Miss Shadid, Miss Stone, Miss Sheriff, and Miss Maynan. You all had the correct answer to Monday's trivia question, which was How many hearts does an octopus have? The correct answer is three. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What country won the very first FIFA World Cup in 1930? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!